Hello. Sad Nam, everyone. It's Candace from Soulfire Social. So nice to see you Monday evening. Sound healing coming to you live from Bend, Oregon. It's been quite a smoky day here. Um, definitely have not seen the seen the seen the sky in two days now. There are a lot of fires around town, uh, but uh, still able to get out. Lots of uh, lots of yoga and pickleball and fun things. But I have to say, right now it's kind of it's kind of uh, swirling around. So very happy to be inside and sharing this with you. I know we're across time zones. I saw the first two people coming in, Leslie and Sharon. So lovely to see you both here. Um, I can't read that far for the rest of you, so I'm not ignoring you. I just happened to be able to read it when they came on. But I felt really called today to um, pull a card for the session. And so while I'm pulling the card and we're letting people come on to the call, uh, what I want to invite you to do is just get really comfy. Um, a great opportunity if you haven't tried this with earbuds, highly recommended. Or you might want to try and Bluetooth it with a UE Boom or an Ultimate or another um, an external speaker, just so you can feel a little bit more um, the potency of the gong and the bowls. So. Okay, I'm pulling from the sacred, oops, what did I do here? I have the sacred traveler deck, but not the right book, and I want to be able to do that, so give me a moment. We'll get ourselves all together, and let's see what it says. So, sacred traveler deck, so beautiful, a gift from a great friend of mine, Corolla and Corinne great friends of mine. They might be on here today. So, where are the eight? Oh, no. We actually did pull from the shaman's dream. I had the cards in the wrong place, not the book. Oh, it's been one of those days. If you've had one of those days, you are in the right place. I've actually had such a good day. I'm a little blissed out. So we'll see what happens after I get myself into the gong. Now, the card is Many Masks, The Authentic Self. And I'll pull that up at the end so you can see it. I'm sure you can't see it fully there. But let's just close our eyes and tune into what does this mean, Many Masks, The Authentic Self, Energizing Internal Allies, A Conscious Shift. It says, we live in a world where everyone we see wears a mask. We wear these masks to cover up and protect who we really are. We learn to do so because we've been conditioned to try and appear a certain way to fit into society. Masks allow us to belong, so we remain within the confines of what is expected. Masks are not all inherently bad. Rather, they provide context and structure for our personalities and our soul's expression. Some of us might believe that a particular mask, fixed and hardened onto us, is our permanent face, and we forget that we are living beings with a multitude of faces enabling us to experience fuller, more vibrant world. Your authentic essence, the card is saying, does not want to be constrained by others' expectations anymore. Now is the time to strip away the mask you've accepted and dig deep to discover who you really are. A new self is emerging and your perception changes as you adopt new ways of being. I think that's a great one to ponder over while we lie back and get ready for our, our sounding. But before you do lie back, sorry, it was preemptive. Let's quickly just bring our hands no matter where you are. If you're already lying back, go ahead and stay there. Just put your hands on your heart. If you haven't yet, then just sit up straight, reaching the crown up. As you know, I just love to make sure that everyone is starting off the sound healing in their own highest vibration, and that is your unique beautiful sound. So let's close the eyes, focusing on the third eye point between the brow, taking a nice long deep inhale here, releasing with a great big sigh. Uh, let that nervous system just relax and release. Another nice long deep inhale in through the nose. Great big sigh out. Uh, 
And today we're going to start and finish in our truth. Normally we close with the sat nam, but we're going to do three sat nams to start as well. Truth is my name. Truth is my name. Connecting with our divinity. So slide those hands into prayer. Connect at the sternum. Put those uh, fingertips up and out. And be very intentional with how you hold this because you're projecting that truth, not only vibrating in your being, but out to the universe. The sat is long. The nam is short. So just so you know, it's like an eight to one beat. Sometimes I know that can be a little confusing. So closing the eyes, reaching the crown up, the chin is tilted. We want to connect our roots down to the earth. So we are grounded below, but opening up to our higher consciousness and our guides. Let's take a deep inhale in. So. your vibration, into your truth, your individuated divinity. Relaxing down, I want you to just open your palms up, the elbows drop down, the palms open into a little cup. We did this last week and I just found it so beautiful and so many of you commented as well that it was helpful. So let's incorporate this into our sound healings. We're going to visualize that any burden, anything that's challenging you anything that you've been facing maybe it's today maybe it's the past month maybe it's been a really hard year and i just want you to kind of fill up your hands with those things just take a moment acknowledge them right because we know they're going to be our greatest teachers down the road but they might be heavy right now you might need a little break you might need a little break from grief or from anger from hurt you know, you might even be angry at yourself for some things and you just need a moment of peace. You really just might need a moment to let go of the things that are burdening you. So filling up the hand and then I really invite you as we inhale, I want you to raise it up. Call and give it to God. Give it to God, goddess, the infinite. Give it to your guides. Raise your hands up. And just allow them to rise, they separate, and then the hands can kind of drop anything left over behind you. So you clear this space in front of you, and then just sweep your hands down, clearing out your field, letting the hands touch on either side. Let's take a deep inhale in. Let it go. And lie down. Close the eyes and find your peace. Take a nice long deep inhale. Big sigh out. I want you to focus as I start to play the gong, every breath you're breathing in these vibrations and whether you're using them to shift energy, to shift and move and get rid of things, you can push out the soles of the feet like black sludge, get it out, use your breath. I want you to breathe with the gong. I want you to become one with these sounds and use your, you're using your mind, body and spirit to flow with these vibrations.
take a deep inhale and just push out and let go anything heavy, anything stale, anything you just need to surrender. And just visualize a beautiful wave of light or water just clearing and cleansing the mind, body, spirit. I want you to breathe in and then release. Let it all just wash, wash away. You bring your attention to the brow point, the third eye. Now it's just you breathing, spirit, energy flowing even greater than the physical body, but truly seeing beyond the veil, beyond the mask. And I want you to visualize there is a portal in your 
your spirit, you're able to walk through that gate. has for you today. Perhaps your guides, an ancestor. All you have to do is tune in. 